Hi, I'm Angus Dean from Toft House Farm at Threshfield near Skipton, North Yorkshire. Uh, we're here in Kilnsey, just uh, near to where Kilnsey show and uh, the famous Kilnsey Crag is. Um, we're a mixed farm, uh, dairy, sheep and uh, uh, we have a contracting business as you can see in the background we're on doing second cut. Uh, we have a dairy herd of 150 pedigree uh, Holsteins and a thousand uh, breeding sheep. I farm in partnership with my brother, uh, my older brother John and my mum Dorothy uh, and then my sister uh, who's a teacher work, works on the farm Mondays and Fridays. Uh, with a good uh, team of part-time staff uh, here on the farm. We've farmed in Threshfield for uh, nearly 800 years, uh, uh, so I, I class myself as a bit of a local now. Well, my uh, grandma and my auntie did a, a family tree, um, and so they started off at the church, and the church records went back to 1545, uh, and were, uh, uh, as a family there uh, in Threshfield, um, long standing and, and uh, they can go back from the church records that they had uh, in the church back to 1236 and were mentioned in, in them. So my brother who's on the forager now, um, we run a contracting business, it's mainly my brother who runs that, that side. Uh, we do about two and a half to three thousand acres uh, of uh, foraging a, a year. Um, he has a good team of staff working for him, uh, which takes, takes him away from the farm, so we're, we're fairly busy on the farm. Uh, here at Toft House with a thousand sheep, um, uh, comprising of 750 North of England mules, um, 250 swales. Um, we keep our own replacements and are buying about uh, 100 uh, mule shearings every year in about another two or three weeks' time from Skipton. Uh, we put them all to the Texel Tups in, uh, in October, the 15th of October, for, car, uh, for lambing uh, uh, the 10th of March. Uh, lamb all indoors <coughs> um, for about a month and then uh, bring them all up onto, onto this land up here. Everything's wintered at home, yep, yep. Uh, so we, uh, we run up to about uh, 1,200 foot. Uh, so they're, they're fairly high up in winter and the, I, I feed them uh, every day um, up on the tops. You can't beat the uh, North of England mule uh, in my eyes, they're uh, very prolific. Always have two lambs, sometimes three if you're uh, uh, unfortunate, but good mothers, plenty of milk uh, and no hassle. They just lamb them straight out into the field and produce two good fat lambs uh, from about uh, the start of July onwards. Uh, sell all my fat lambs uh, through Skipton Auction Sort of weighing from 42 to 52 kilos um, from about yeah from the start of July to uh, maybe end of October. Um, I do sell uh, uh, Texel Gimmers um, as well, 600 of them every year uh, through Skipton Auction. Um, to then all the uh, smaller lambs and the all the weathers are all finished off grass. Uh, only time I'll creep if I have any left around, sort of. Um, Christmas time but usually usually majority 90% have, have gone by the end of uh, uh, end of October all off grass. Like pre on previous years we've, we've sort of scanned around that 200, 210 to 220% like this time we, we scanned at 100 and, uh, 193%. I prefer, I prefer them to be around that 200% um, they're uh, uh, Triplets are a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Um, uh, mothering on, uh, we, we we don't like to let a lot of sheep go. We're single, so we we are mothering on a fair fair lot at that. Uh, but we are uh, we are at the bottom of the valley, uh, bottom of the dale. So uh, a lot of people do come for spare lambs uh, from us uh, in in lambing time, uh, which uh, helps. Uh, I try uh, try to have a, uh, not many pets uh, as possible. So. Uh, uh, this time I was lucky to just have two. So, uh, uh, but uh, other years you can you can have a lot of pet lambs about if you have too many triplets. So every every, uh, every autumn I, uh, I, I set my sights uh, going to Skipton Auction um, to buy the best mule shearings. Um, so la last year the uh, the average room just over two hundred pound to buy them. So you can tell that I'm buying. The best, uh, the best sheep. Um, 
when when I'm selling the uh, uh, Texel gimmers, um, it does it goes through in them. I'm buying Texel tops around them 1500, 2000 pound mark. So uh, um, it does come through when my Texel gimmers uh, by far good skins on them, good lengths, good heads on them. Uh, definitely, it starts with the mule and. Uh, uh, you start with a good shape and uh, you end up with a good quality lamb out of it as well. I do, I do pick out uh, all my, um, what I call as my, my draft ewes and I, I do sell them uh, at the auction again and usually they, they, somebody else buys them for another season. Um, uh, their farm will be a bit kinder than ours. Uh, uh, we're running at quite high, high level here. Um, and if they go further down, you can get another two crops off them. But I like to have a, probably average on my cull use around that £100 mark. So it's a, a good end product at the end of the day. But uh, I always think uh, you can't beat the mule sheep for a prolific, uh, prolific breed. Milky, motherly, um, and without, without any shadow of doubt in my eyes, one of the best sheep uh, that there is about. The farm's about 
850 acres in total. We have this farm at Kilnsey that's rented 100, uh, 100 acres of uh, all measurable uh, land that goes to the uh, mainly the dairy herd, but the uh, sheep come on in lambing time and then we spain the lambs onto here in about another fortnight's time.